What up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode here on the Jimmy Dukes Gaming Podcast, episode 42. For those that don't know Spanish, 42. Welcome. Oh, is that what that is? My guests. I've been excited to have these guys over. Welcome. I'm so excited too. Pub crew. Pub crew. Pub crew. Pub crew. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, man. Thank well, you. introduce yourself. Um, Together, you guys are pub crew, but yes. individually. Um, that's Ryan. That's Vic. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we got he, said, he said we got it right this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we are a podcast. Uh, first and foremost, we do like to do gameplays. We stream once in a blue moon. Uh, we usually love to, I don't know. A little bit of everything. Drink. We'll get down <laughs> so, yeah, on that note, let's go ahead and open these up, man. <laughs> yeah, but then you were having a Yeah, for sure, man. But in true pub crew fashion, we like to remind everybody, you don't have to drink to chill with the pub crew, but it does help. Cheers. 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 Thank you guys Cheers. for coming over, man. Whoa. It's, this is supposed to be an IPA. It doesn't even taste doesn't. like hoppy. It just tastes like fruits. Yeah. Why are you so really obsessed? Nice. Yeah, why are you so obsessed why with so me? Obsessed? Oh, okay. Guava IPA. Yeah. Where's this from, by the way? Shout uh, out to Old that. Cheap Dog 3900 Rosa Avenue, right in that little uh, park where the lowriders hang out. You know. Really? So here in El Paso? Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Local yeah, breweries. Local breweries. Local breweries. Yeah, of course. Love supporting local. Yeah. That's what we're all about. That's what right. we, it's a nice little segue into what we do, man. Right. Exactly. Perfect, no. man. So I remember. um. So I just want to tell a quick story how I met you guys. So I was at a beer festival, and Ryan just came up to me and said, hey, man, uh, I know you. I, I follow you uh, on Facebook. Yeah, and I was like, oh, not in a stalker way. Yeah, no, he, just, <laughs> he just came up, and I was like, hey, what's up, man? So we just started bullshitting. Fucker came out with a, with a card and a sticker, and I was, yeah. like, I was like, oh, shit, you do a podcast? He's like, yeah, it's called Pub Crew and everything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's dope, because at that time, I was already kind of starting to do the the podcasting, but just virtually with people. Mm -hmm. But you guys have been doing it in person for for how long have you guys have been doing this? We're going on three years now. Three years, yeah. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> That's <laughs> dope, man. I think we started December twenty twenty. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, because of the times, uh, we kind of were just using it as an excuse to be like, "Hey, man, let's just hang out, have mm -hmm. a drink." We can't hang out with anybody you know yeah. what i mean like <laughs> we will be the spirit that will get you going for right. the pub yeah. that you can't be at right, right. Now. <laughs> and that's, that's where the name came from pub crew uh the whole yeah. inspiration was just we really just wanted to make a podcast that was if you were there with your friends and just or strangers even just drinking beers and mm -hmm. talking about the weirdest stuff you know local stuff or even like stuff that's going on in the world uh, weird questions yeah and that's kind of where it blossomed into and uh it, it was really awesome we met a lot of cool people yeah like you. that's yeah. cool yeah. man like i said when, when i had saw ryan at the festival and then mm -hmm. he was just chopping it up and he's like, man I'd love to have you come over and i was excited <laughs> i was like oh what the fuck i was already i went and did my homework looked you guys up we went to school but not really go to school right because you went to community right yeah for uh college right yeah 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 for college right so I was like, oh, shit, we didn't even know, because we have some friends in common that we you know, like, yeah, a, yeah like Adrian and uh, what's his face with the glasses that freaking last name Sanchez. You guys work with them, too. God bless. Oh, uh, Abe. Abe. Yeah, let's say. Yeah. Like, uh, Abe. Abe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. So I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. But, man, um, I you know, I met you. Then I went to hang out with you guys. The way you guys had your little setup, you guys inspired me to oh, do man. this shit. You know what I mean? For real. Like, it, like no jokes aside, man, when I saw you guys serious on your level and how you guys were doing it, I was, like, impressed. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God, this is dope. I'm glad that, you know, we crossed paths and kind of shit like yeah, that. Likewise. And it was funny because I do remember that mostly because I was a good uh, beer fan. <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, I do remember him going, like, I think I know that guy. I think that's Jimmy Dukes. I think right? he's, like, a stream. And he, he was, like, giving me the rundown, and I'm like, why don't you go talk to him? You I was like, I don't want him like a fucking stalker. Yeah. <laughs> I would be like, bro, I know you. I follow you. I, yeah, yeah, I, I follow you. I'm yeah. following you now and shit. Uh -huh. like, like, that's the weird parasocial uh, relationship that you have to be comfortable with to mm -hmm. be a streamer, yeah. to be a podcast person, to be a, a public figure. Yeah, like a personality. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. Yeah. You have to be okay with people going up to you and being like, hey, I know you, or yeah. I know everything about you, or right? right. things about you. You know, you only know what I say when I drink. Yeah. That's, also, that's also like during 90%, my episode. So. 
Yeah, you, that's a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you talked about you guys talked about um, starting the show, but how did you guys meet? Oh, we've known each other for like third grade. Yeah, second grade. No shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's I, dope. I he was actually one of the first people to talk to me when I moved o- uh, over from Hottest. Mm-hmm. I was what uh, in the '90s we called a Mexican kid <laughs> <laughs> in the Lower Valley. Right. So, which was really ironic to me because I'm like, you guys, you guys are Mexican too. I don't know. Right. <laughs> You're the Mexican kid, yeah. even though you guys are all Mexican. Yeah, right? Exactly, but that's how it was, you know. Um, <laughs> I had fair skin. I had no idea what was going on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and he, what? I feel like I feel like he. I feel like you were like. I don't want to say bullied, but I feel like in like Mexican culture, you like you're you're sort of your more apparent features become like your nickname. They yeah. become like you know who you are. So I feel like with you being so like light skinned and stuff like that, I feel like people just thought you were like like super like white or something. Right. I don't know. Like, and and I, I will I won't shy away from that in the sense that I'm like well. I know my last name is Garza, but do not let that fool you. My Spanish is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get that myself too, because I'm like light complexed, and then when I started speaking Spanish, people were like, "What the hell?" Yeah, yeah. Like, what the hell? Like, I thought you were no, no, just... Jukes. I'm like, no, that's like my persona, yeah, exactly. my nickname. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> my real name. That's my G O V name. It's just <laughs> completely different. They're like, "Oh shit!" But yeah. but that's cool. So you guys have known each other for that long. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, you guys went to high, uh, high school together, elementary school together, um, on and off. Elementary, middle. middle school, and then that's when he. I went like I went to a different high school because yeah. I went for like their uh, medical magnet at that time. Okay. That's what I thought I was gonna do. Yeah, and that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, right? I, I went more technical after that. I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Right. <laughs> I thought I life. wanted to, but I did. <laughs> yeah, that's life. I mean, everyone goes through that shit. Yeah. But yeah, no, sure. we still kept in touch. Like, I kept in touch with everybody from like when we went to yeah, school. Because I went to Riverside and he went to Bel Air. Yeah, I'm going to Bel Air. Yeah, I don't know if you were comfortable with disclosing that. But... <laughs> I've said it before. That's oh, all. Okay. Yeah, no. So, yeah, but no. I went to Riverside. Yeah, so that's why I, I still kept in touch. And we, I mean, ever since then, mm-hmm. yeah. we've just, we just been yeah. in touch. And actually, like, we weren't even in like a band in high school together. Like, yeah. he used to play bass. Slap in the bass. Slap in the bass. I still play drums, but now I'm doing other music stuff. Yeah. But um yeah it was crazy like we pretty much just had like like damn dude like you like rock music too mm-hmm. that's sick you right. know? Yeah. you're a rocker fool hey, ain't you, you? Rock-a-fool, huh? <laughs> you're a mexican kid and the rocker fool yeah. Sh- shout out to all the cholo fools who are listening to hell that yeah i find it so intriguing like because a lot of times when you see because you guys I watch your episodes. I have them in the background. I'm working and I have them up. The chemistry's there. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't understand when there's in anything, when you're doing a show or you're doing comedy or doing acting like that chemistry between people. And I seen that be- between you guys. So when you guys, all of you guys have been friends for a long time and throughout different experiences in life, when did it sit down to be like, Hey, let's do a podcast together. Like what was the brainstorming? Cause you said it was during like the COVID times or whatever yeah. like that. But like, you wanted to do it, but how did it even just spark up the conversation? So it was like maybe, maybe like a year before we started. Like I'm, I'm even gonna say five years before it started. Because like it started as like a hey, we should probably do like yeah. some shit, but we didn't know what that was. Then yeah. I want to say like, it was like maybe a year before, a year and that before, we started yeah. like we could do a podcast. We're like, yeah, well, I guess we could. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, that sounds fun. I still remember because <laughs> we were having a kickback. I think it was at your place, and it was uh, your wife's sister and. Yeah like a few other people and like the other people that i did on there like you guys are really funny you should start like a podcast or something yeah, right. people, yeah. and i'm looking i'm like see 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 <laughs> we got something we could do something yeah. we'll be funny at least but, for an hour but <laughs> i feel like for for the ever since i came back from phoenix um uh, i moved over there for college didn't work out dropped out it was a terrible time life but, yeah life it happens <laughs> uh and i feel like that's why when we reconnected it, it was so like easy to get back into like talking to each other and just being friends again because we both went through some shit. We were both like, yeah, life didn't work out, huh? He's like, nope. And we just yeah. kept on going. You know, that's yep. all you can do. Uh, but even when I came back, like, our friends would be like, man, like, like it's like you guys, like, never, like, skip the day. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's, a, that's how, like, yeah. I, I, as I gotten older, yeah. I've noticed that with my friendships and stuff that mm-hmm. just because you stop talking and might not hang out on a daily basis, when you do kind of hang up, uh, reconnect or hang out it's like time that hasn't passed yeah because every once in a while you get those from where you been fool oh uh, you don't yeah. holler at me anymore like dog i got a family i got yeah, a mortgage exactly. i got, I got shit job. going on i got shit going on you yeah. think that you're on my top of my list of getting shit done but the people that aren't like that and they understand that we yeah. all got shit going on 
and that's... fucking pick right up. But yeah, there's a difference between the people who just bug you about not hanging out, and there's a difference be- uh, between the people who actually make time for you. Yeah, well or said. They mm-hmm. work with you. Be like, oh, fool, well, I'm going to go to this. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm busy. And they're like, oh, okay, that's cool. Bye. Yeah. You know, like they, they're never like, oh, okay, well, what day was work for you? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But then you notice that, like that's a big difference. And um, actually, funny, funnily enough, like personally, I've been going through a lot of that this year, um, just losing a lot of friends because you get older, yeah. you know, you, you sort of have to make your priorities, and you realize you can't associate yourself with people that aren't gonna do well for you. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, like they, they yeah, protect mean, your energy yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so it was just a lot of like when I got back, and like I was, of course, I was very nervous about talking to everybody that I knew here in El Paso, right? Um, but started talking to Ryan five, ten minutes in. We were just joking. Yeah. Laughing all this. Like, like shit. nothing's like nothing's ever just fucking changed. Yeah. Man. yeah. That's cool. They're like, all right. So you had, so you had people telling you, hey, you should do this. And then finally you're like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Do? Yeah. What yeah. can we do? Our, so. our first setup was legit me. I was like, okay, now we can do this. I have the smallest concept. We need a mic and something to record on. Well, I don't have money for a fancy camera. Right. <laughs> we'll get a laptop with a. Webcam. We have a better webcam now. By the time we had like a smaller webcam, we're yeah. like done. And I was like, check out the setup. Yeah. Right? So if you look at Pub Crew episode one for like oh, almost yeah. that first season, yeah. no, like we changed about halfway. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. I think so. Yeah. We had like that whole setup where we were like clearly still learning. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we just we just did it. But we didn't like that wasn't our concern. Yeah. What we were just doing was just trying to like get out there we were just talking yeah making, like just talking shit we, what we do now and then it's just kind of like we've gotten better as far as quality yeah as long as our we, we realize that as long as our standards are at a certain level yeah um the quality of you know get actually doing it is gonna get better with time yeah <clears throat> all we can focus on is making sure that it like sounds good it looks good mm-hmm. or that yeah. we know what we want to talk about all the stuff that we can control uh right now we focused on that and that's a big part of what we tell people, because I'm sure you get it a lot, mm-hmm. but it's everybody who's like, so I want to start a podcast. I have this idea. Yeah. What should I do? And I'm like, do it. Just yeah. do it. And they're like, I- no, like literally step by step. And I'm like, get a microphone, get people, get a topic and uh-huh. do it. Right. And- <laughs> I, I, I like how you did say that because you guys didn't like let that from you guys starting, because I don't know how many times I've heard in life with people like, well, once I start getting more in shape, then I'll do this. Mm-hmm. Once I have this, then I'll do this. Instead of just you're doing already it. limiting yourself. Yeah, you exactly. Can't, you can't do that. You mm-hmm. got to just do it. Yeah. Because like if you're gonna already limit yourself by saying when I get in shape, okay, so what's stopping you from doing that? Right. Well, it's because I got to do that. Like yeah. So now you're yeah. It's you're easy adding, to make an excuse yeah, exactly. for everything yeah, you want to exactly. do, but you could just start. Like, yeah. And yeah, it's probably like I'll be honest. Like it may not be that good at first. Yeah. But you gotta start somewhere. I, dude, yeah. You gotta take the leap. You gotta yeah. try it. You gotta do something. Yeah. A lot <laughs> of people learn. yeah, a lot of people are always like quick to like find excuses not to do things. So the mm-hmm. fact that you guys started it and you guys were like, look, this is what we're starting with. And then once you guys started it, then that burns that little like fire under us. Like, yeah. hey, let's let's try to like care about it. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Let's try to yeah. care. Cause a lot of people, and I'm not it's I, I've seen this because I've I've been streaming for almost four years mm-hmm. and I've been doing this podcasting for about a year and a half now. You can tell when somebody cares. Yeah. Oh. Regardless, like if they're streaming just a stream and they're just doing the basics and that, that's fine, whatever. But when you see people go out of their way to try to make it look better, sound better, lighting and yeah. shit like that, then other people will start seeing that hey, that they're not they're they're taking the time to do this. Exactly. They're putting a little bit of effort. Yeah. And, and then you can see it and it'll pay off in the end. And to add on top of that, that's why when we when I met you, because he knew who you were, I was just like, I don't know. We have local streamers. What the right? Fuck? Yeah, he was more like local streamer. Like, yeah, uh, what? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this fucking big dick out here? <laughs> Why isn't it me? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> Why am I streaming? <laughs> yeah. How many times have I heard that shit, bro? right? <laughs> but hey, that's cool. So you guys, you know, you 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 got the concept together, and then once you guys started recording, did you guys already have in in mind? like a name and what kind of topics you guys were going to go into. We had the name. We had the name and, and we the actually concept. we actually <laughs> like argued about the name for like a few weeks. Yeah. Cuz we had we were going to make it a lot more um cryptic or a little bit nonsensical cuz when we were in high school um we still had like our group of friends and uh, going from middle school to high school we had like I forgot, was it just called like the circle or something but like since we were all like very much like goths metalheads punks nerds 
you know, yeah, misfits we were, pretty much. Um, we called ourselves well, we the, couldn't do the misfits. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we couldn't do the misfits. All we right, cease it. and desist. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we beat us to it. A couple of years late. <laughs> we couldn't do the circle because then it seemed like we were going to be doing other things on the show. And right. I'm like, I don't think we can have that. Yeah, right. we're not there yet. Yeah. Maybe down the road, we'll put it in the back burner. Yeah, right. we'll see. So yeah, you guys came up with the name, and then the concept just came over time, or just. Oh uh, yeah, well, yeah. since it was like mid COVID. Or I guess right like there, you having trouble? You okay? Yeah, I, I am. I'm, I'm going to look cool, but this thing's coming out of yeah. my goddamn ear and shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're just gonna keep going. Right. <laughs> keep going. Make that shit. Yeah. Um, I feel like the biggest thing was, of uh, as far as the concept goes, was making sure like whether we wanted to make it very much topic driven or personality driven. I feel like that's the biggest thing that people need to focus on when they mm-hmm. start a podcast. Um, a lot of people don't even think about that, but you're a personality, you know, you have to sell yourself just as much as you sell the things you talk about. Yeah. And, uh, once we started getting into the concept of, um, I'm just gonna take this out for now. Uh, once we started getting to the concept of, um, we want to make it a podcast. Like if you're just hanging out with your friends or you're, uh-huh. you're eavesdropping on a conversation that two people are having at a bar, uh-huh. you know, once we figured that out, it became so much easier Nice, because we weren't limiting ourselves to just pop culture or just games or just music, which we're all very passionate yeah. about. Yeah. We do talk about that, yeah. but that's also because like, those are conversations we have when we hang out. We're like, mm-hmm. can you believe this shit? Yeah. Like, yeah exactly. We just did. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we were just like, well, we can just talk about news. I love talking about strange news and stuff like that. Yeah. So we just figured like, yeah, pub crew, you know, you're hanging out in a pub, all that stuff. Like, it, it all clicked. It, yeah. all, it all came together once we figured it out. Nice. Know? And you guys, how long have you guys been doing it again now? Uh, We're since, coming up on three years. Yeah, that's cool, December man. 2020. Yeah. Dang. Our first episode was December 10th. Yeah. Uh, right? Yeah. yeah. And and uh, I remember uh, when you guys had the, the was it the second one year anniversary? Or was second year. The second, second year, year anniversary, yeah. and I went to hang out with her. You guys hung out at that that uh brewery or craft for the membranes. Yeah, bro, that was dope too, man. That was yeah. a that was actually really big. Like that went way better than we thought it yeah. would. Yeah, that was like a sure. we hadn't hosted like a big event. That was like a big event for us. We were yeah. like we had bands play, we had food event, like we had a lot that we were like, yeah, this is this is a lot. It's like, cool, I'm, right? Really, really, yeah, I was, was so cool. excited for you guys, man. When I saw, I was telling my wife about you guys and. And I'm always nerding out when I, especially if I talk to anybody in El Paso that is trying to do anything away from the norm. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I, I got a regular, I got a nine to five job mm-hmm. that pays, you know, for all my shit, insurance, shit like that. But yeah. I'm passionate about, you know, creating content, you know, streaming, playing games, meeting mm-hmm. cool people and having conversations and traveling and having conversations with different people. That's, that's what I, I'm passionate about. Mm-hmm. It doesn't pay my bills. But, yeah, exactly. but when I meet people that are kind of pursuing that in their own different way, yeah. I love it. Yeah, because I feel like there's that understanding of like, hey, this isn't like some like fever dream where we're going to be like, oh, we're going to be super famous. Yeah. We're going to be rich and we're going to do all this stuff. It's like, no, we're working hard to make a product that people are going to want to enjoy and listen to. Correct. You mm-hmm. know, and, and, and that takes time, right? Yeah, exactly. Definitely. That takes time, dedication. Uh, you sort of become, I think we talked about it before the show, but like you sort of become a jack of all trades. Yeah. Um, yeah. between ed- anything like editing, audio, you know, like, st- like stage stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you mm-hmm. learn, you have, you have yeah. to learn everything. That's, well, that's when you start caring. Exactly. When you yeah, start yeah. caring about your product, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people will, will do things just to do things and that's fine. You know what I mean? I don't, I, I don't, I don't hate on anybody pursuing anything in their own aspect, but once I, once I like, I kind of like get turned off when people start complaining about this not working or this or this or not getting the results. I'm like, why? Well, how much are you really putting into it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean, exactly. it's just like you're over here bitching about they're doing this and they're doing that and you wish you can do it, but you're not even doing a quarter of what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, have you actually looked at what exactly. they're doing? Yeah. What is, where is it you want to go and what is it you think you're missing to yeah. get there? And then if you clearly have something you're looking towards, well, what what is it that yeah. you could do? Yeah. Maybe your audio. Is it your filters? Is it maybe is it your audio? topics? Is yeah, it your topics. topics. Is it the energy that the vibe yes. that you bring? Yeah, because you know if you're, you're not bringing like mm-hmm. something to the table, if you're just gonna be like, oh well, welcome, and that's something we figured to the out podcast, very and yeah. um, we're gonna talk about some beer today. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like, well, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's so something that we figured out. Very I I like this. So when you guys you know, we were kind of chopping it up a little bit before we recorded, you were like, yeah, man, we just started going to breweries. So how did that? 
how did that even come up? Like, hey, man, let's just reach out and see what happens kind of thing. What? Or did you already have a shoe in with somebody or like? Well, no, it was actually by chance. Yeah. The, the, our biggest thing. Because like, so we were, the concept that we were going to try and do was craft beer, right? Yeah, yeah. So we started with like, you know, at that time it was like Tin Man because it was still around COVID. So like there was breweries, but none of them were really open. And then, so it was like limited what we could do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like Tin Man did like to go and everything. So we were able to, you know, still get craft beer and like do what we wanted to do. And we wanted to do more on that. Like we know we have local here. And it so happened when like, I want to say like the first few months. Yeah. There was the El Paso Save the Breweries event that they had around that time. Yeah. And it was any of the, the breweries that were around at the time, which were uh, El Paso Brewing Co., Craft Rhythm, Old Sheepdog, Aurelia's. And then Craft uh, Rhythm? There I said. Oh, sorry, uh, Blazing uh, Tree. Blazing Tree, yeah. Yeah, so at the time, there was only, like, the five. Six, yeah, five, well, six. Well, yeah. Dead Beach, too. Yeah. But they, as far as what were on this event, was oh, yeah. those five. Yeah, Dead Beach. And they all had a thing where it was, like, you know, if you uh, hit up all the places on this day, you get, um, I think, like, a free growler, right? And yeah, a yeah. fill or something? yeah, yeah. Well, we made a big thing of it because they were like, hey, you guys should hit this up. And we reached out to, I think it was Justin from our yeah, who Justin was actually yeah. hosting that. And I think he caught wind of us or something like that. Cause yeah. like, we were like, well, we'll just reach out, see if we can do something yeah. about that. And he right away was like, oh, yeah, I've heard. So yeah, you guys hit us up and nice. then I'll let the other breweries yeah. know. So that was a pretty cool thing. Like, we were just yeah. a few months into this and we started Aurelius. Cause that was our goal. Was we started as far west as we could at the mm-hmm. time, which was Aurelius. Yeah. And we made our way back to the east side. So uh-huh. our goal, that was also our first live stream where we got a fill from each brewery that day. So it was an all-day affair for us. Yeah. We got a fill from each one. And then at the end of the day, we did a live stream where we tasted those That's fills so sick. Yeah. From each brewery. It was a long time. That was, that was the like, first day that we were like, oh, oh shit. man, this is, what, this is what our life is going to be if we continue this. <laughs> yeah. And we were happy about it. Yeah. Like, we didn't mean it as like, oh, we're going to be tired. Yeah. We meant that like, Oh, oh shit, damn. we're gonna be tired all the time. This yeah, is amazing. This is, yeah, you know? We were like, God damn, we were like doing shit all day. Yeah, Granted, yeah. we weren't driving, so we were responsible because yeah. we did drink at each brewery. Yeah, but we yeah. had like we were smart about it. Yeah, we're like, we, get like a yeah. beer. Yeah. And then we get a beer that we didn't try to be like, that's the one we're gonna we try. Take all gonna yeah, that one. We're gonna try that one. Yeah, so big so shout out to Jeffrey and Tasha. They were helping us out a lot. Yeah, they helped the us out. Driving, a lot of even like the motto and stuff like that. They helped us come up with a lot of the early stuff. Yeah. That was super dope. That's cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. And and that's the thing too, cause like when when you guys I you know I met Ryan sorry, before I went to go hang out with you guys at the house and we recorded. I was like looking at the episodes. I was like, man, these guys are because I had even talked to you guys on, on the episode we recorded. I was like when you guys were doing the crafting, I was like, I kind of wanted to do that. But I had no idea that somebody was already doing it. So I was like, oh, shit, that's sick. Because I was like, I knew somebody that worked at Blazing Tree. And he's like, yeah, come on by. But at that time, I wasn't recording or pot. I was like, oh, like, I want to do this. And I had talked about it on stream. And then somebody's like, oh, yeah never got around to it and then you guys were doing it. i was like well i can't do that anymore but i like that you guys were doing it because mm-hmm. it's a good concept and you guys would hit those the breweries and things like that and then you would talk about gaming and comics and movies mm-hmm. so i was cool i was like oh then you could they're not just doing that like yeah so maybe i can do that or maybe that's just something yeah. i can tap into it, kind of thing yeah uh, nice pun yeah <laughs> <laughs> tap into right <laughs> uh, that's something that's that's what I love about meeting you and actually meeting like everybody in El Paso who's doing creative work, who's doing a lot of podcasting, uh, like no requests, all that stuff, like men out at the laundromat, all those people. Um, even people who are doing gaming stuff, you know, real ace kid, Adrian, <laughs> shout out. Yeah, no. uh, but uh, uh, all these people, like you sort of, it inspires you to do better, not because you want to be better than them, but because you realize there's other like-minded people like you. It's like, it's like when it's like if we were in the Wu Tang Clan in '96, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's like steel sharpening steel. You yeah. know what I mean? It's blade sharpening blade. Like they were all fighting to get a spot on the song. You know, not mm. all of them made it yeah. onto the song. Yeah. I'm sure they all had verses and stuff like that, but they didn't do it because they wanted to out rap each other. Yeah, I mean they did, but it's like <laughs> that it's out of like a respect. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you put like what like. And like, I mean, I grew up playing sports, so like I played, you know, I wrestled and then I played mm-hmm. hockey. So having somebody that was like a teammate or somebody who's pursuing something and genuinely meant wanting you to do well. But at the same time, they're fucking doing, doing good too. their best. Too. You know exactly. what I mean? They're not trying yeah. to outshine you, but hey, 
But if that's the the kind of relationships you build, even like yeah. they might not be, you know, streaming or content creation. I'm sure with all the brewer guys you met, all the company oh, yeah. guys you met, the people that are running these businesses and shit like that, talking to those type of people, that that energy, that positive mm-hmm. kind of energy, I talk that, about that shit all the time. You know what I mean? I don't care what type of like content creator you are, podcast host, streamer, cosplay girl, guy, whatever the yeah, fuck yeah. you got going VTuber, on. YouTuber, you know? Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Once I start talking to them and there's like a genuine, like good waves. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. I might not ever talk to you ever again, or we might not be cool, but I just, yeah. it's cool you're, you're that able... somebody's pursuing something and they, yeah. they're they a good person. Yeah. They're trying to do everything they can. Exactly. They're not sleazes or whatever, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I, so I could totally relate to that. Yeah. That, oh, sorry, go sorry. ahead. Go uh, ahead. Well, that's actually been like one of the coolest things doing this is going to the breweries uh, locally here and then like anywhere that we've gone to and talking to some of like these local brewers, head brewers, mm-hmm. owners and stuff like that. When you talk to them, like it's awesome to feel their passion and yep. hear like yeah. where they're coming from on something. Cause yeah. that's always one of the coolest things yeah. is like that energy where you're like, yeah, it's, it's just a passion they have for that. And you hear like what it talks to when it goes into the brew, the beer, why they did it, what style. And mm-hmm. like, that's why I craft rhythm. Like you talk to Fred there, he'll, talk your ear off about any beer the style where it dated from yeah. how they brewed it what yeah. they did to i was like that's amazing to hear that mm-hmm. i always love hearing because you get like a historical behind it you get the reason behind it yeah. why it was made that way and why it's called what it yeah, is. yeah and you're he's like, such a charismatic cool. person and you're like oh this is like like edu yeah this is his shit like this yeah. will know like, what he's yeah, talking yeah. about you know what I, mean? and it's just awesome hearing that like mm-hmm. even like talking to, like some of the guys from, like martin house who are like also oh, yeah. in texas and they make some wild beers have you ever seen and they make some like crazy yeah they're like the, they're the ones who made like the pizza beer the, the all that stuff like just really weird yeah just like just and because like, kind of just because they can right yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah and then like talking to them it's like is that is that this is the reason why they're like yeah they're like 80 <laughs> they're 80 percent of that is just because of the yeah we're like ah that, one of our birds like hey I want to try that and they're like that's crazy all right let's, let's do it right? <laughs> yeah, be like, yeah, that just might. but then like it sounds yeah. crazy but some of those become their popular beers like their mm-hmm. pickle beer mm-hmm. where you're like and now that's a staple you just see that yeah. everywhere now because it's yeah and, it's just and grown those- and those those are the concepts that you can apply to yourself yes it's yeah. you can't yeah I'm not gonna make a pickle beer but I get the whole concept is like you can try something crazy that you feel is gonna be like a really weird thing for people and it might work and you're gonna find somebody that loves it yep or a lot of people they're like that's so crazy but i like that right i mm-hmm. want more and you're like really right <laughs> yeah a lot of the time works. yeah a lot of the time too what i get with people it's like i might not be able to relate but i can understand and yeah. i can see the passion and the the fact that you're going in on whatever it is exactly you know what i mean yeah. it just like i sometimes i meet some sweats that play like mortal kombat or street fighter Ooh. and like that's their shit and I'm just like I can't relate, yeah. And I don't play, but I can see the fact that you're you're you know you're serious about you wanting to be good, you want to do the yeah. tournaments and yeah, and you know shit like that. And that's cool. And I could I could relate to the fact that you're passionate about that, and that's you're going in on it. Yeah. And they're not trying to be mean. They're like this is just what I like. Hey, that's dope. Yeah. I know what that's I'm doing. Cool. I'm passionate about this. Yeah. This is why I'm doing. No, yes. That's that's when very people much. have that purpose. Yeah. Like they already know what their purpose and what they're driven to wanting to do. Is I can relate to like when you're naming all these these folks that, that do different things. Yeah. Like fuck yeah, that's dope. Hell yeah, yeah do yeah. that shit. <laughs> yeah. But I, like bringing it back to gaming uh, <laughs> that you just mentioned, that's that was actually me. Like I actually had very big dreams, and I would take steps to be a esports gamer. Like I was, I that was my dream. Besides like making video games, I would have loved to be a competitor in like fighting games or like even at the time it was Halo, which was a big game. Halo two, Halo three. Um, I still remember like going on to like Justin.tv or like MLG.com oh, yeah. and like seeing like the streams in like 240p right. of like <laughs> Ogre 1 and Ogre 2. And I'm like, if you can't tell them apart before, you're right. <laughs> you know, and even like, like even like strong side, like people like Ninja, people who didn't know like Ninja was like a Halo pro before he did all his streaming stuff. Yeah. You know, like all these people that I knew that meant a lot to me. But it was such a like speck of the universe yes. type of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I always took like competitive video gaming seriously, and um, I was a huge Street Fighter uh, fan. Uh, I played E Honda for a long time, and then I started playing Third Strike, so I started playing Oro. I, I never really liked picking high tiers on that type of stuff, but you get to meet so many different people yes. from all different walks of life and everything like that, and it's kind of like a 
kind of like I I can best describe it as like the relationship between like Ryu and Ken. Like that's how yeah. like all of this shit feels if you're a gamer. Right. <laughs> you know, like that's how all of this shit feels is that you know, you're on your own path and yeah, you're you're sort of like fighting to get what you want out of life, right? But you have like your friend who's he's not like your rival, but you know he's just as strong. You know, you, yeah. you know they're doing just as much things as you are. And you don't har- harbor any bad feelings towards them. You want them to do good. You want them to do great. Yeah. And you want to be just as good as that. Right. Like, that's all it boils down to, you mm-hmm. know? <laughs> and meeting those kind of Ryus or Kins throughout the life yeah, is yeah. dope. Yeah. Because I've, like, I, I've met, like, uh, certain content creators. And sometimes, like, eh, we're cool. But some people you just end up yeah. clicking with, you know? There's yeah. another guy that I, uh, you know, shout out to Tetsu Temple, my boy. We started a whole separate podcast um, called Not Just Gamer Dads. And we're both gamers, we're both dads, and we like talking about gaming, but not just gaming stuff, like parenting stuff and things that we're trying yeah. to pursue. And we that was just a project that we wanted to do something together, and it just clicked and it made sense. Yeah. And it just it's the same thing. He has his own content, and he has his own games that he plays. I have my own content, my own shit. We don't need each other, but when we get together and we push each other in the right type of way, that's the kind of things that you need in life. Yeah. Having that person to kind of bump your shoulder, like, hey, what the fuck? And having that, because obviously you guys do this together and you have your own separate lives and you got going on. Oh, yeah, but, for sure. you know, having that person to, you know, to look over to your left or your right, be like, hey, man, that's yeah. dope. Keep doing that shit. Hey, yeah. let's do this. That's yeah, that. for sure. So with that all being said, like you guys, you know, started it, had the concept, all the different things. How do you guys keep that passion and the that motivation just to keep going? You know what fingers. I mean? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, uh, beer. <laughs> what was the question <laughs> how do you guys keep it like how do you like why do you what's that motivation that keeps you guys going and wanting to do this it's not necessarily work it's something we look forward to we it's legit we're just like hanging out mm-hmm. we're, we're hanging out once a week twice a week if we're feeling a little edgy yeah. <laughs> and we'll just hang out because yeah. Most of the time when we record, it's like we'll record. Do we got? We'll have like, so like we don't have like a script or anything. We'll have like a topic yeah. to yeah. like. Okay, so we're going to talk about. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. And if we feel like, hey, depending on how we feel, we'll be like, hey, do you want to do another? Like we should do another because like we still have more we want to talk about. And we're feeling yeah. like, great, let's do another. And then when we're done recording, we're still hanging out. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're sure. still hanging out. We're being yeah. like, all right, and then we're just talking. We're um, shooting shit, and we're legit just. Yeah. Di- are you, you good? No, yeah. I was uh, like, I was just waiting for you to finish your thought. Oh, because I was like, just, okay. oh no, it's because like honestly, not to sound like super like anime about it, but it honestly just is friendship. Like yeah. it's honestly like the connections that you make with people. Mm-hmm. It's for me at least. Uh, he's when he told me like, dude, like honestly, like I love doing the podcast. I look forward to it every week. I'm like, dude, me too. Like we get to hang out. Like. Mm-hmm for free you know yeah, <laughs> like, right. we, like we have an excuse to hang out like that's always gonna be there it's super dope um mm-hmm. and especially with all the people that we meet because we didn't we haven't had just like other gaming people on here we've had we've had um, artists tattoo artists like art musicians. Work artists, musicians bands uh different types of people um to shout out a few trash baguette uh shadow valley um a minor in cryptozoology okay. you know all these bands, uh, even Damon and Wild's band, yeah. we, we had them. Um, Andy Green, yeah, we've Andy had, Green, yeah. yeah we had a whole so bunch of local yeah. musicians, artists. Yeah, we had, we, like, uh, a Lombax enthusiast. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was a, like, she's a very good artist. I have two of her pieces. One of them is, like, a Mazapan. I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, so yeah. If you want to be, like, put it on the... Hashtag <laughs> 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 at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Here's context. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, like, so that's... Even tattoo artists, like, yeah. Hannah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's... Like, we've we've done a lot, like, so this is just a thing where it's like, yeah, the, the passion just comes from like, yeah, this is just something like we were just hanging out and we yeah. still just hang out because we still hang out outside of doing that. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't feel like, oh, yeah, we're forcing to do this. Yes. Like mm-hmm. we're just, yeah, we're recording. We're going to shoot shit for like an hour on yeah. camera. Sometimes it's like an hour and a half. Yeah, no. For <laughs> Whatever sure. gets because like we'll yeah. just be there and yeah. like we'll forget. Oh, yeah, we should probably wrap this up. Right. And then we do. And then we just hang out. But this is also like gotten us like connections to other people to be like oh well now this person's like hey that sounds cool like right i'd be interested in that but, okay, when you well, start meeting some like like-minded people regardless yeah. of what it is and topics and things and just to have a conversation 
I always tell every, every guest, I get excited every time I get to talk to somebody that, that mm-hmm. takes their time to come out of their way to mm-hmm. schedule to sit down a conversation virtually or in person yeah. or whatever, right? Yeah. I get excited because, like, for me, and you guys were le- mentioning it earlier, I feel like I'm getting better every time I record, every yeah. time I stream. I feel like my vocabulary, my grammar, mm-hmm. just my thought process, yeah. time manage- like time management, shit like that. I'm like, damn, without even realizing... And it's not work. I look forward yeah, to fucking exactly. doing it all the time. Mm-hmm. So anytime it becomes work, and that's when I'm kind of like, oh, fuck. You know what yeah. I mean? I- that's, that's, when, <laughs> that's when you know you need to take a step back. And you're like, yeah. okay, well, what's causing me this stress? Like, what's making this fun thing not fun? Yes. You know, and that's actually, I didn't, I don't know how I was going to talk about it today, but that's actually something that I, I messaged him a few weeks ago. And we didn't really uh, talk about it because I wanted to talk about it in person, but um, I have been working graveyard for the, well, I, I am still working graveyard, but for the past year and a half, I've been working graveyard and it kind of, it didn't take a toll on me at the beginning, but after a while you're like, Oh, I have like no social life. I'm working a backwards life, you know, all this stuff. Like when everybody's asleep, I'm up, you mm-hmm. know? So for the longest time, uh, since it was like a full-time job, I was very much like slowly, like starting to see like cracks. I was slowly t- starting to see like, I wasn't uploading on time. I wasn't editing when I was supposed to. I wasn't, you know what I mean? Mm. And when that stuff started affecting the podcast, I was like, look, man, like, to be honest with you, like, I have so much stuff that I need to do, like a full-time job, music, a a video game, like all this stuff. Like, I don't know if I have enough time to do it. Mm -hmm. And this guy responded with like, look, man, if you need time off, that's cool. But if whatever you need to be done we can work it out yeah when somebody sends you that that's how you know they're like dude like this shit is legit yeah we're gonna fucking be doing this you know what i mean like we he's he wasn't caring about the fucking podcast he was caring about me you know what i mean like that's how you know what the fuck we have all this try we got all this momentum going and now you're gonna fuck it up kind of thing yeah Yeah, yeah. i I, I know exactly selfish mother right exactly (laughs) what about me yeah yeah. why can't it be me i was like well what do you need i was like well what's what's stressing you out like what do you want to do like what can we do let's restructure like you need time take your time like whatever you want man like yeah let me know yeah like communicate with me like what does you want what can we do? Right. Yeah, and that go and that goes back to the friendship. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. guys know each other. You could be mm-hmm. honest with him. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Cause like I can only imagine when two artists that are really dope, they get together and things are not working, and then they're like, Well, one's like fuck this or fuck that. You know yeah. what I mean? Then they, they're get bitter or whatever. But they didn't have that friendship and they weren't working toward a goal together. They were just working together, work together. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm so picky with uh guests mm-hmm. and people I play games with, because sometimes you know what their intentions are. What are they trying to get out of it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I just, yeah. I just want, like I always say, man, I just want to dope. I want to record dope content and put yeah, it yeah. out there. That's what, if you're dope and whatever the fuck you do, yeah. and we can have a conversation. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If I want to do a co-stream with you, we're going to set up something. Um, you know, like I, I have that podcast yeah, with yeah. a homie. Like that's and our project. We do it on our own time. We figure it out. And we do it together. Yeah, kind of thing. Exactly, and that's actually like one of the things that I caught uh, with one of your collabs for a stream, a co stream that you did, where the the guest copied your usual thumbnail oh, style. Oh man, and Doc. I thought that was so Shout hilarious. Shout out to One Shot Knox, man. That yeah. was hilarious. Bro. I thought that was so funny because I caught it because like I usually catch everything like. 10 hours later when yeah. I wake up at 9 p.m. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, damn. <laughs> you know? Yeah, man. He, I was like, and that was a guy that I met yeah. through streaming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He lives in Chicago, you know, and we we, we met at the, the, the meetup at a convention in, in Atlanta. And I got to talk to him and chop it up. And he was exactly who I thought he was while, you know, we played games of bullshit on stream, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So, like, it was cool to have that connection and having, you know, we might not be boys and shit like, but every time we see each other and like, yeah. hey, what's up, dog? Everything yeah. good? Yeah, yeah. And that's how it should be. It's like, yeah. it should be. You yeah. know what I mean? You want to feed off the, the positive type exactly. of people it's kind of thing. Get, like too poetic, but it's like, like when two giant ships pass by each other. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> like you see each other, you recognize each other. You're like, hey, you're doing hard work. That's badass. What's up? <laughs> what's up? Yeah. You know, that's super dope. That's yeah. cool, man. With So now you guys... You guys have the friendship. You guys are moving this together at whatever pace it is, whatever pace it is. So, like, what do you guys see yourself like in the next year, the next five years? You guys still feel like you guys are still doing this? You guys want to do it bigger or or just see where where it leads? Like, what do you guys see yourselves in the next year, three years? I'm curious about to see what you you think about this because I have a lot of thoughts. 
but I'm a. No, I'm nervous. Go first. <laughs> <laughs> I like pressure. Well, it's because I'm an overthinker, right? So, uh, for me, a lot, it's not necessarily doing it bigger. I feel like where we're at now, as far as our scale is. Uh, I'm very comfortable with. Um, I definitely have some local people that are like, hey, I know you. You do a podcast, right? Or like, hey, you look familiar. You know, like, that's super dope. I never expected that. Um, what I did want to focus more on is definitely just finding a bit more content that's a little bit more, like, diversified. Because we did do gameplays before. And yeah. we kind of have been talking about getting back into that. But it's just the concept uh, that we want to have. We want to have like gameplays that mean something yeah. not just like um oh well we're just gonna play to we're gonna play skyrim for 600 episodes because i love skyrim you know mm. <laughs> like yeah <laughs> like as much fun as i know that would be for me i don't know what good it would be as content Correct. you know so what we really like doing or what i really like doing was our road to gold uh yeah. which is where we pretty much just pick the game and i would play competitive because he's not a competitive guy um, I would play competitive and I would like try to get to gold rank as fast as possible. Um, we tried doing that was, well, we were going to do that with street fighter six, but then I played my <laughs> placements on my personal account and I ended up in high diamond or sorry, high platinum, low, di uh, low diamond ELO right away. So I'm like, <laughs> well, we, can't we, can't, we can't do road to gold for this game. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I it by myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I was like, if we do this, yeah. I'll go ahead and do Road to Gold yeah. and see how long it takes yeah. me to get there. Because I play it. I'm just not that competitive. Yeah. About it. I don't like I don't like sweats. Yeah. Me I'm, <laughs> yeah. People always ask me when I play games, like, uh, I'm the type of guy that I will play games for a little bit of time, get my joy out of them, and then leave. I have yeah. some friends that like focusing on shooters and, focusing, yeah. and they get good at that. For me, they're like, why don't you get better? Like, I, I don't care. Yeah, I don't I just, care. I, Dude, I ain't gonna stress about right, it. Right, dude. I played. I, I played Starfield, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, dude, I played yeah. Starfield for the twenty-five hours of the main campaign mm -hmm. and stopped. Yeah. I didn't build a base. I didn't build a <laughs> ship. I didn't do fucking anything. I didn't put anything together. Yeah. Some of my homie streamer homies are gaming. You didn't build a ship. You didn't go to this planet, <laughs> oh, bro. I got my fill. Yeah. And I'm on to the next one, dude. Yeah. I just that's just me when it comes exactly. to gaming. Then I have some other friends that they go in. Like I have uh, a homie. Shout out to Ted Tetsu. He was going in on Naraka. He loves anime and like oh, martial arts. Yeah, so yeah. when Naraka came out, oh, this yeah. is my shit. I'm going to the fucking whatever. He was grinding that bitch out. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, and yeah. it was dope watching him do it. Yeah. I couldn't do it and yeah. I didn't want to do it. But seeing him do it, I was like, this is dope. Yeah. Right? I can appreciate it. And, and that's, that's, that's the thing is appreciation. I feel like that's going to be the word of the day. Appreciation. appreciation of what other people are doing because gaming has become such a huge thing now. You know, when. In like 2006, 2005, you know, like, yeah, it was like blowing up, but like you still got made fun of for playing video games, you know, mm -hmm. especially if you were like past 16, you're like, oh, what are you doing with your life? You're yeah. playing little kids shit. Yeah. But like, I'm literally shooting a dude's brains off. What do you mean little right? kid shit? You know I'm what having, I mean? I'm having like, a good ass time. I don't see why you're so worried about what the hell I'm doing with my time and shit. <laughs> right. exactly. If I want to craft a house in Minecraft, what hell business is it? Right, exactly. I'm living life. And trying to get some yeah, diamond, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, let me just watch brain rotting TV for nine hours. Like right, do. that's what I want to do is shit. <laughs> but that that's cool that you guys are on it. Like we don't know where it's gonna lead, but you guys feel like the the passion is still there. Oh, you guys yeah, look definitely. forward to hanging out, mm -hmm. and that's like one of the coolest things. Like, uh, and I keep bringing up my homeboy. Like every Thursday night we record. Like I don't like I don't stream Thursday nights. He streams. He cuts mm -hmm. the stream off. I come home from the gym. And we get in Discord, we talk about what we're going to do, and then we record our podcast or two. We make our clips working together. We make time for each other. And at, while we're doing that, we're chopping it up. Exactly. We're bullshitting yep. mm -hmm. and whatever. We're having fun doing it, man. And I think yeah. that's what uh, one of the biggest things that I learned over time, and you guys have too, is like when you start realizing what your purpose and why you're doing it, yeah. then you feel more comfortable that you don't have to justify anything to anybody exactly. or defend yourself to anybody. Mm -hmm. If you don't get it, you don't get it. I'm not going to exactly. take my time to explain my vision of what I'm working toward or what I want to do. And I mean, if you, if you don't care or don't support, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Then then don't watch me. Yeah. Don't listen to me. That's okay. But the people that are interested or want to know about, then it's cool. Cause that like having those little five people or 10 people yeah. give you the nice pat on the back after you busted your ass to record that, put it out. And just like, hey, cool. Like, that's what we wanted to do. And we did it because we wanted to do it. And people like it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was just going to say, the one thing that I've always loved to tell people that are like, 
oh well i don't like it whatever i'm like cool step aside for the people that do you know what i mean like, like not to be mean like, no, no, I, like that's true it's true like oh why what's what's the whole point of you standing here in front of me telling me that you don't like things like step aside and let the people who do like it enjoy yeah. it you're you as bad as I mean? useful as the negative comment that was on youtube that i'm like thanks yeah <laughs> right like, like, like I'm gonna thumbs up that comment for <laughs> I, 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 put, I not put a heart yeah like, yeah, anybody yeah, yeah. starts putting negative thing like i used to like watch people like be negative mm -hmm. and youtube's the worst one oh yeah, oh, like, yeah youtube's the worst one i just got my partnership with youtube and like i started putting more shit out and like my stuff gets pushed out a little bit and i get like the most hateful shit yeah and i'm like i just killed two guys and i thought like that, that shit was dope oh calm down bro you're not a pro i was like hey man i'm sorry that i really enjoy my content man mm -hmm. thank you for checking it out yeah. oh i'm an asshole yeah because you know, i'm like when you put positive towards yeah. somebody being negative bro what are they gonna say yeah. it shows them how much of a piece of shit they are yeah, yeah. yeah. to go out of their way to make a negative statement mm -hmm. then i go out of my way yeah. to be positive and say hey thanks okay. for the view thanks for the comment <laughs> you know, I'll, like my unboxings like there'll be guys like oh that was i didn't learn anything my bad man i'm trying my best yeah. I'm only learning this. I want to learn from an unboxing. Yeah, you know, I know. When, when, when they see that, they're like, damn, I'm an asshole. I went out of my way. This guy responded to me and saying, hey, I'm trying my best. Thank you for checking it out. Yeah. I'll note that. And you know much, what the, worst, you know what the worst part is? It's not like this person was like, hey, man, I was wondering, what about this thing? Did you check this out? They're just like, oh, I didn't learn anything. I didn't find the one specific thing that I wanted to know. But instead of letting you know what that one specific thing is, I'm just going to call you an asshole. Right, you know what I mean? Like, like that's, that's always been the thing that I'm like, I don't care like what this shit is. And you know what? It's really funny. I started laughing really hard because I kind of had that like little slice of humble pie very early on uh, in the internet. Um, there was these people that I used to watch. Uh, Tomorrow's Nobody's shout out. They're like an old uh, comedy oh, like, yeah. troupe. Uh, they used to do animated stuff and then they started doing live action stuff. And, um, I don't know, like when I was like 17, 18, uh, that's when they made their big shift. And I was like, oh, like this, this show sucks now, you know? And I commented that and I was like, it's 18, you know? Yeah, like, fuck know. you, what are you going to say? What are you going to yeah, do? Yeah. But then yeah. on like the next video, they were doing like a whole like apology or like not even an apology but like hey this is where we're moving this is what happened between us this is everything like there was so much stuff going on behind the scenes that i didn't know about that i was just like oh this show sucks yeah fuck you guys yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? but yeah. they put it as like the first comment on their video it just like fades in and yeah, i saw yeah. that <laughs> and it broke my heart and i'm like i can't be a mean i can't be mean to anybody on the internet ever right again. Well, especially when you're like, you're just being a dick that just to be a dick. Yeah. Yeah. A when you're being a dick part. just to be a dick and you don't have no idea what to go. And, and that goes with like, with, uh, I know you guys don't know what the future holds, but the, the purpose and why you guys doing it. How do you like, when your friends and your families saw that you guys were doing this, what, did you ever get those like naysayers or what you're wasting your time and. Oh yeah. Like, you know, or like how did you deal with like that kind of stuff? Like when people once you they saw you start putting your stuff out, and you're like, hey, I saw y'all guy trying to do your little podcast, yeah. like shit like that. That's exactly. That's exactly you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, like fine. Like it's funny from family, I've actually gotten just like nothing but support. Mm -hmm. Like they've been they've been more like, Hey, congrats. They're yeah. Like, oh that's yeah. cool. It's like hey, that's friends. funny. It's usually friends, right? Yeah, it's funny. Like family's been more like, hey, that's cool. Like, oh, you guys went there. Oh, that's cool. How is it there? Like, oh, you know, you should probably check it out for yourself. It'd be great. Or like, oh yeah, we talked to this person. Oh, they yeah, they did like, yeah. It's usually friends. Like yeah. there, there's you know, the, of course we have like the what we have, we have our our pub crew, which is a shout JB. Hey J B <laughs> and like, Cindy. And Cindy. Your wife. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been like, yeah. you know, they've been supporting us since day one. They love what we do. They, you know, they're they there for like us. Shit, but then we get friends shit. that have like, you, it's just like those backhanded compliments, you yeah. know, where it's like, a, oh, wow, that was a that was a good show, huh? Like, oh, you guys are really doing good with that. We're like, My, hey, yeah, thanks, man. Right. I appreciate yeah. you for checking out the show. Right. It doesn't even sound like you checked yeah. it out. Right. It just sounds like you saw we shared a post and you're like, oh, yeah, you guys are doing really good, aren't right. you? Like, oh, yeah, you guys are big time now. I'm like, I i'm just like, i'm uh, just promoting our stuff right yeah. like i'm not yeah that's like the, that was the, one of the things that auto is like oh i saw you trying to be like dr disrespect or ninja or whatever yeah, i'm they like could, they compare you to someone I'm else just exactly. like well oh, i'm just trying to do something yeah. and then like yeah, i ain't after yeah. like i used to like defend it and like always try to justify or like try to tell people 
Well, I'm trying to do like explain myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's that's my first defense. Like that's what I first thought. Yeah. Like let well, me justify left. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But it took me about, and I've said that many times, like on on live streams, on podcasts. It took me about a year and a half to be like, I'm doing this because I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And how I'm you not, said, step aside for for the people that do care. Yeah, you know, I'm not what I mean? doing the, it for you. Then I'm exactly. doing it for the people who actually give a shit. Yeah, and yeah. that was one of the things that I remember uh, when a lot of people were getting upset with like the hot tub streamers and people doing <laughs> things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would just like, why do you oh, care? There was one. There was one yeah. content creator. He was uh, he was saying. That's not your audience. That's not your community. Don't care about what everybody else is doing. Worry mm -hmm. about what you're doing, yeah. and you'll be all right. And yeah. once I heard that, which so simple-mindedness of just hearing somebody say that I looked up to doing their thing in their own way, you know, shout out to Senpai Gaming, he used to be Alpha Gaming, Harris Heller. He was like, worry about what you're doing in your lane. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what everybody else is Don't wish, oh, I wish that was me. Why are they getting the shine and not me? Yeah. Or defending mm -hmm. yourself. Hey, if that you can't explain your vision of what you're you're what you're working toward to somebody that doesn't see it. Exactly. So I just stopped. I'll just say if somebody says like a backhander comic, well, hey man, thank you. I'm, yeah. This is what I'm pursuing. If you yeah. like it, great. If not, yeah, I appreciate you checking it out. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how great I am or why you should I'm check it out. I'm not gonna argue with you because exactly. it's, it's your opinion. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I I guess I see where you're coming from, yeah. but that's how you feel. Great it. I'm I'll yeah. take that into no and I'm gonna move on. Exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and if continue actual, to share this episode right? like I was doing. If it's actual constructive criticism, yeah, yeah of course I'm gonna like, oh okay. Yeah. Well he was talking about the audio. He means that it was too low here and all this stuff. Like, yeah, yeah that's fine. Otherwise, fuck up. Right, no yeah. shit. Fuck like honestly, right? like I've really tried I've always lived my life to be as nice to people as possible as much as I could, forever and ever. This year, I feel like I'm going into like my little villain arc, and it's just like, <laughs> dude, like if you don't care, who the fuck cares? Yes. You don't get the fuck out of my life. Like, I don't have time to deal with people who aren't gonna support me, and especially when it's people that I've supported their sort of aspirations, their yeah. fucking dreams. Like, I don't know, some SoundCloud rappers or like some type of shit like that. You know, like I'm a SoundCloud rapper. You know what I mean? Like, I don't fucking hate on anybody for wanting to do that, but when it comes to the point where I make time for people and I make sure that I communicate as much as I can with somebody to collaborate. And then they don't reply or they message me the day of a few minutes before it goes on. Hey, I'm sorry. I can't make it. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, fuck you. Like, obviously this wasn't important enough to you to begin with to even take it seriously. So why the fuck should I be nice to you? You know, why the fuck should I treat you with any amount of respect when you've never shown me any, Yeah, you know? No, no, that, that, that's it. And then that goes with the whole older, wiser thing, dude. Yeah. I just turned 39 this past week. And I'm like, man, I'm fucking, I used to waste my time on justifying why certain friends were in my life or not in my life or why I had to do certain things to have certain people in my life. But, you know. Yeah, we're going through that right now. Yeah, you know, like, you know, like <laughs> and we talked about it a little bit, like, on your guys' podcast when I was on, like, I lost my job. You know, I lost my mom. Mm -hmm. I just, a lot of things were going on in my life, you know, three years ago. Yeah. yeah. And that just me just seeing how things were changing and you know thank you know, thank god for my wife and shit like that i'm just and my good close friends i'm like why the fuck do i care about anybody else like, yeah, what? Yeah, it, yeah. It, but you need to go through that yourself i so tell everybody exactly. all the time yeah you know i i tell like all my young homies streamers or whatever I'm like, hey man you will know like yeah, i'm not mm -hmm. trying to spit game or you got to look out for this or whatever but i always had older hockey buddies of mine i growing up look out for this don't do this if you're doing this kind of just give yeah, you a heads yeah. up but you had to go through that through yourself. Like, yeah, damn, yeah. I'm over here doing everything I can to support your aspiration, whatever. And then you're just going to just whatever. Fine. Yeah. At least I know, mm -hmm. you know I can move on and exactly. treat yeah. you yeah. accordingly. You know, I'm not going to be a dick to you, but at the same time, I'm not going to give you the time of day mm -hmm. for whatever. You know exactly. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So with all that being said, man, I, I know that, um, that you guys, you know, um, you guys have been putting out a, a good amount of content, man. And I, I like that you guys bring on different people, bring on different guests, because I've always wanted to do podcasts like that, too. So, like, seeing you guys do your thing, I was like, I, I learned, like, all right, cool. Like, you can go be a mobile setup. Mm -hmm. You could have random people on and talk about this. You could have your homies on there and shit like mm -hmm. that. And yeah. that's what I, like, look forward to doing, too, man, because I'm sure you guys get it all the time. Let me be on your podcast. Let me be on your podcast. <laughs> But, yes. it's, but it's got, and, and it's not, and I'm, and I'm not trying to be a dick to the people that have asked me, but it's got to make sense. It's got to yeah. make sense. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to yeah. do it just to do it. I'm not going to, like, I've gotten a lot of people where I've reached out and they didn't give me the time of day and I keep doing my thing. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, you want to do that thing? And I'm like, 
you know, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll get back to you. I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, I'm just like, hey, you saw how serious I was or yeah. whatever. You didn't give me the time of day. Now yeah. you see me that I'm doing all this, and now you want to, like, yeah. I just, I get it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm just like, I only want to deal with people who are serious I am. If you don't want to yeah. give me the time of day or you don't see exactly. how serious I am, that's cool. Yeah. At least you can say, I, least- I, I, don't, I don't want to. Don't tell me yes and then no. And then now you want to say yes. At least the people who are, and that's the thing that I told Ryan, at least the people who are transparent about why they wouldn't want to work with you or why they don't want to do this with you, those are the people you at least want to keep talking to and be like, hey, maybe later on something will work out. Yeah. Um, With some certain people like the ones that we mentioned or that I've mentioned. um, We directly. We'd made plans with them for over six months. We had more than a few meetups that were like hey we're gonna be here or we're, we're, we can meet you here all this stuff we'll go to you you can come to whatever yeah. it is you yeah, want. We we'll have a figure it out. yeah whatever it is you want to do and then and it's like yeah 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 yeah. Multiple and then the day times of, oh yeah, sorry day i can't make it oh hey oh uh, sorry this happened yeah. my goldfish drowned all this yeah. and i'm like I'm, just say you don't want to do yeah. it i'm having dinner with my girlfriend yeah you I'm know like but you do pl- we like, plan this for three weeks you know what i mean like we didn't it's just, so it didn't just done. fall into the right. Pool. And you don't want to be petty, right? You don't want to be seen as like a negative, like content creator or anything like that. <laughs> but it's like, come on, man. Like yeah. at that point, you're just taking yeah. advantage of us. Yeah. Like, do you want us to seem yeah. like pushovers? Fuck no. Right. And that's why like, yeah. like, all I have to say is like, if people can't accept what you're doing and they can't uh, support you or at least be constructive or anything like that. Fuck them. Right. Like, they're not going to ever affect anything that you're going to do later on in your yeah. life. Because, it, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, uh, I've gotten so much love from people I've never met or, like, think I'd ever met. Like, the the most love I've ever got, like, from random strangers on the internet, more than I do my own close friends, mm-hmm. that, that I know I do this. And I, it's not a knock to my friends. It's not something that they like. Like, they know exactly. me and they love me. Yeah, yeah. But I don't expect them to go listen to all my shit. It might not be their thing, which is fine. But they still support me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But you'll get yeah. the most support from the most randomest people. Mm-hmm. And then I always say, anytime somebody comes by my streams or listen, any time that you're willing to give me is a time I'll take. Exactly. Straight up. Yeah. You, you come in here on my stream say what's up. I'd say, hey, man, mm-hmm. I listened to part of that podcast. I got to it later. You said this, this, and this. It resonated. Dope. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. And that's you know what I mean? Awesome. That's cool. I, you you that got means shit going people on. People don't yeah. know how much that means to you, right? Mm-hmm. Like, people don't understand, like, I worked with this. Like, this is a full-time job type situation for me. Like, the passion behind it is more passion than I have for my full-time job. I spend just as many hours on it. You know what I mean? Like, People don't understand that all this stuff that you're pouring into this like little bucket that you're like presenting to the world. They don't understand that, like, dude, that's like me bearing my soul out to you. Like the fact that you're like, oh, I like that. You know, that yeah. means like that means so much more than from a stranger than if your like friend was like, oh, I saw you uploaded that. That's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> like not to be a digger. Yeah, but no, but it's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I appreciate it. But when you hear somebody say, hey, yeah, that was dope. And I listened to this or whatever. Just kind of like, that's cool. Because it, 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 like, I like that little reference. Like, you're, you're pouring everything into this little bucket. You know what I mean? It's like, I have a lot of buckets in my life. But I focus on this bucket such so it's much. So yeah, much. Exactly. You know this, I mean? is, this is my golden bucket. <laughs> like, it is blood <laughs> and sweat. And this is bucket. jewel encrusted. <laughs> <laughs> What's encrusted with? You're asking too many questions. <laughs> no, a lot of efforts gotten into this bucket. Okay. That's so you cool, know? man. Yeah. But, but with uh, with all that being said, like, what are like, uh, what are some other things that you guys want to get into? Like, whether uh, do you guys want to travel at all? Do you guys want to? Actually, wanna, yeah, that like, is. You know what I mean? Actually, like, if about, we do yeah. want to talk about the future a lot, a little bit more, yeah, that that That's, was actually the you know only what? thing that we talked about. I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say we never asked me my. <laughs> we never came back and I'm like, wait, I had an answer. Hey, it was hey, travel. <laughs> hey, there's Ken all over again, just yeah, taking all yeah, the show yeah, for the time. Mother. <laughs> wait a minute, we never brought the cousin. Hey, like, it's, it, it, it's like it's a, it's a pub crew. Yeah, not you're a right. Pub person. It's not a pub <laughs> band. You, you gotta understand something though. Doing this for almost three years, neither of us take offense to that because yeah. we have the superb ability to ramble yeah or go off of a topic off of one answer yeah to forget that we actually have- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially when we're like oh it especially because most of the time it's like 
oh, well, I'm passionate about that too, yeah. so I'm going to let him talk. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a, let, let me let him cook. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> you know? like, what about me? This, oh, I want to travel, by the way. Yeah, 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 that's <laughs> why I was like, oh, yeah, that's true pub crew fashion. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. That was, well, I was going to be like, yeah, uh, traveling. Mm-hmm. Like, because, like, we've talked about some of these other breweries, like Martin House and stuff, and yeah. they've been here, so we've met them here, uh, uh, like, Undisputed and stuff. Uh, shout out, shout uh, out to Undisputed. Yeah. They just had their fifth year oh, yeah. anniversary. Yeah, they just had their fifth hey, year anniversary. Let's go. Uh, if you guys do like craft beer, if you guys want to try something that's breaking the norm, that's yeah. a little. Uh, yeah, I, like, I've been. Yeah. Uh, I walked in there on accident without realizing it. Yeah. I went to the punk rock uh, flea, market flea market one time. Oh yeah, they got those every thing, month. Yeah. yeah. So I went one time with my wife and my kids. We walked around and there was like. It was a brewery. I was on his booty. What the fuck? So I walked in, big ass on bar. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, I'm from the Northeast and I'm I'm way out here in the Northeast. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So like I hardly ever get out, period. Mm-hmm. But we were out there. I didn't know that always existed. Yeah, but that was a nice place. I don't know who I spoke to, but the two people that I talked to at the time, super knowledgeable and everything, mm-hmm. had like yeah. two or three beers, but shout out to them. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, <laughs> no, they, yeah, they've been really working hard. Um, it's funny because like to me, I really like them. Uh, not just because of their beer selection, because I'm a beer snob, but they've been the only like on camera. <laughs> they've been the only few bars that I go to where it's not like <sighs> some like super get fake your ass beer person. and get out. Yeah, <laughs> either that or some <laughs> fake ass person going like, "Hi, how's it going?" Yeah. You know, like all the, like I'm more there for the beer and to hang out and kind mm-hmm, of shit, dude. Yeah. And, yeah, and that's why like they understand that they know the type of people that they're yeah. they're attracting, and that's that they actually help me find some like piece into the growth of pub crew yeah because yeah. it's like realizing that we're in an, a butt light town a budweiser town um you know so like talking about craft beer that's gonna hit like five percent of the population yeah. you know talking about gaming that's gonna hit another like 15 20 yeah. percent you know like you never i like that helped me like realize like you can do the things that you want with the very niche things that you're into yeah you just have to know your audience, yeah. you know, and you can make it work. Yeah, yeah. but so, yeah, with the traveling, it's like you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's no, like yeah. that. So like they've they've also brought in like breweries and stuff, yeah. right, where they get some of the beers. So like we've talked to them, and even they're like like a uh, Cody from Martin House is like, hey, if you guys are ever in Fort Worth, he's like, if you're ever in the area, he's like, come on by, we have our library, like their reserve. He's like, we'll do a thing there with like beer that's like limited or doesn't come out. Yeah, Mike. That's awesome. We've yeah. talked to the folks from Tubbs Brewing. Tubbs, Those guys were yeah. really cool because we talked to them at that beer fest that day, and they were like, "Oh, this sounds cool." They're like, yeah, I guess like, yeah. hey, if you're ever like in our neck of the woods, mm-hmm. come on by. And that, that's all it is too. A lot of the time, it's just having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. you know, they'll, having they'll a conversation face to face. Yeah, yeah man. Like, if I reach out to some people that I'm like, hey, uh, you do this and this. Like a lot of like buddies that I've known that, you know, like I said, I grew up playing hockey, so I have a lot of friends that in different professions. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm able to reach out to them. Like, hey, you own a business? You want to talk and shit? Fuck yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But having that personality, knowing that you can reach out to people, because yeah. I'm sure that if you were, uh, you know, if you're an idiot or whatever, that guy would have been like, not even offered you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or maybe got yeah. to like, because I think that's where we end up talking like their their brewers and stuff. Oh like, yeah, they're, yeah, they're brewers. Because I'm really like, oh yeah, you know, we're a local podcast. We're like we're, we talk about beer and stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, let me go get you this guy. And like they go get him. Like, oh, this yeah. is like the head brewer, like the owner, they're like. Hey, what's up, guys? And we just shoot the shit yeah, for like we shoot the ten shit. minutes there, and they're like, "You guys are pretty cool." Yeah, if you're ever out that way, because yeah, like yeah. they're like, we can do something remote, but they prefer, but also we prefer yeah, it too. We prefer in person as well. Yeah, because yeah. like since we have a mobile setup, like we go to these breweries, so they like hearing that. Like, well, if you have a mobile setup, like if you're ever out there, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it at the brewery. I'm like, that's what we like to do because yeah. that'd be cool to go hit up, not only like just in Texas, but like New yeah. Mexico. Because we've talked to like some places in New Mexico and stuff like that mm-hmm. too. Um, going. I mean, there's plenty. There's, yeah. so, there's so many. Especially, that's cool. Yeah. So like that, that's just being on your radar. Yeah. To do yeah. it's not like a, a an immediate thing. No. You know, no. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people I want to talk to. It's, I got to get to and things yeah, like that yeah. when it makes sense scheduling mm-hmm. and you know with time yeah. you know yeah, full time yeah, exactly. jobs and yeah you know yeah, and that's something yeah you, you know too. responsibilities and shit like that. So yeah, of course. And, and that's the biggest thing you I think you have to keep in, in like the forefront of your head. Is that you need? You're gonna need to have patience, and it's gonna take time. You're yeah. not always gonna meet with the people that you want to meet. You're not always gonna do the stuff that you want to do, the content that you want to make, uh, because of the resources you have. But as long as you keep at it and you sort of build that plan to make sure you get to making that content, 
you'll be fine yeah you know um nowadays i've started actually thinking about streaming a lot because um with that whole thing about like Wait, bitch you don't even have time to fucking do well, a podcast well, with well, no, that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had to get it for you I actually fucking came in with the I was like oh he's streaming a podcast with no it's because I didn't finish that I didn't finish saying that that like I was feeling burnt out and everything, right? But <laughs> when I started talking to him and we were trying to figure something out, like the universe pretty much was like, oh, no, nah, fuck that, bro. You're going to part-time at your job. You know, like I didn't have a choice. So it's kind of like life chose for me. And it's like, oh, well, now I have time to go do the other stuff. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. I was like, we made some time for it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, like, that's the thing that I didn't say that I was like, no, like it ended up working out in such a perfect way that like, yeah, of course, I'm going to have to budget more and I'm going to have to live a more frugal life. Uh, but I'm still making enough money that I'm comfortable with the stuff that I have to pay and everything. Yeah. And um, that's why, like, we never got to talk about it. I even mentioned, I'm like, dude, like, we should talk again because all this shit happened. Yeah. Because um, it was one week to the next. Like, my job was just like, hey, you're going to part time. Either go find another job if you want full time or just suck mm -hmm. it up. You know, that's, uh, that's how jobs are. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really crazy to me that I'm like, man, I was over here like so worried and complaining about like, I don't know if I can do everything. I need to prioritize stuff. Yeah. All this time stuff. management. Shit. Yeah. I only have so many hours in a day and then I'm sleeping like three to five hours every yeah, night. Which is That's not, not good, good either. Yeah. And it's like from like 3 PM to like 6 PM, which is like the hottest time of the day. So mm. like, I don't even get like restful sleep. You know what I mean? I'm sweaty. and like <laughs> <laughs> True. So, Not good. Yeah. So it's just, um the fact that like the universe was like whatever dog <laughs> let's get it. yeah let's get it kind of thing yeah like you, you like go do the shit that you want to do in life yeah. and i feel like that's something that a lot of people would take for granted yeah and a lot of people would just be like oh well now i can just relax yeah you know well, that's the thing too it just like i i get that all the time and you you guys mentioned it earlier like i see a lot of people like i wish i'm like dude you don't, you don't even do this you don't do this. you can do so much more you know what I mean? But me being yeah. like older and like just, I managed my time and it, t it took a while to manage it. You know, think, you know, shout out to my wife. She was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was in this room. I was playing games or doing this because I didn't know how to handle everything. I yeah. just was so like this. Mm -hmm. You got you that put, tunnel you put vision. The, yeah, you put yeah, the blinders yeah, on, the blind you, you which that, I understand. Yeah. But for me, in my situation, what I had going on in my life, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't yeah. do that. And that wasn't healthy for me. Right. for my relationship for my community what i was striving to do and it took me a while to balance everything yeah. i think it was until like two years where i'm like damn i think i'm good now i think i've gone through a lot of trial and error i know what i don't want to do and i know what i do want to do mm -hmm. and this is the time i got to do it so let's start working together yeah. with my wife the communication the time i'm like all right these days i do this these days i do this okay this doesn't make sense anymore. Let me do this and let me do more of this and go like that. Yeah. Because you got to be honest with yourself too. Exactly. And that's, yeah. that's part of you got to be honest with yourself. That's part of like expanding your skill set so much and becoming a jack of all trades that now you're learning time management. Now you're learning how to manage people. Now you're learning how to manage like everything, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's like a manager thing. That's yeah. not, you don't ever think to do that in your daily life. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's so crazy to be, and it's so super awesome to hear. Cause it's like, we all realize like, yeah, we're all human. You know what I mean? It's not like we're going to live forever. It's not like we're going to like sort of break time. You know, I'm not like freaking Hermione making like extra day in a day. You right. know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> shout out to any Harry Potter fans who caught that <laughs> reference. You know? <laughs> I think science would allow that to happen <laughs> within time yeah within well time. actually i feel like with time dilation if you want to get into that i feel like with time dilation close to like warp uh not warp uh, wormholes and stuff like that i feel like with time dilation um enough scientists would be like i'm crazy enough to go live near there and see how that would affect me i don't know man i've seen back. event horizon and that was not a good time <laughs> if you haven't seen that that was I that was uh, not a good time <laughs> with that concept <laughs> which is probably why they haven't done well, it i mean yeah. that makes sense right but yeah. i mean uh, honestly and that's honestly like that little switch up is why we work together so well because yeah. like we can go from like yeah this is the dumbest thing ever to like well Make if you actually work. want to talk about like <laughs> the uh -huh. it behind it yeah, yeah. And that goes back to the whole chemistry thing, thing man. Yeah. I, and that's what I said, like, with you guys always, like, pushing the, you know, you guys are pushing the your Spotify. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing the YouTube on the regular schedule. Like, I love seeing the fact that you guys are pushing that and doing that because 
Um, it inspires me that you guys are doing that. Well, how many episodes you guys are at now? Oh my god, episodes. <laughs> I'm going to say at least 150. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like that. yeah. It's like, I'm not going to say it was like 52 per year because we, we release weekly, um, but there were some weeks that we missed or there were some weeks where we did a live stream where we didn't have a episode. And of, that took over. Yeah. That took over that time. Um, so I would say around 150, to yeah. be honest. And that's it. And, that, and a lot of people don't understand that the consistency yeah. with anything, with anything. I'm just saying. I use this reference. You want to be good at three pointers? Fucking go shoot a thousand three pointers, yeah. <laughs> so where you can make ten in a row in a game and shit like that. Yeah, but it's yeah. getting the reps in, and yeah. a lot of people always like when it comes to content creation, it comes to being a musician and being a mm-hmm. comedian yeah. and doing whatever. You got to put the time in the in the the reps in because I get a lot of the time where people just want that instant. I want I, like I I get this from streamer homies all the time. I'm waiting for that video to go viral. I'm like. Stop waiting well, for it yeah. to go viral. Just keep go doing make what more videos. Keep doing yeah. what you're doing. Like yeah. one thing I've always told people, and then and then before we start wrapping this up, is like I one thing I always tell people is like work on your craft. Mm-hmm. Work. What can you control that that'll keep doing what you need to do? Like you guys consistently making that many episodes. Yeah, it's ridiculous to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But it's good to know that regardless of what your guys' pace is and what your goals are, whatever, mm-hmm. it can be done. Yeah. And I tell people all the time, within reason or whatever, as long as you got your mental health, your health, whatever you got going on, you're not financially struggling, whatever, and you can push this, yeah. then hey. Then other people are in certain situations where money's not an issue and they can go in on something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is, mm-hmm. I, I, I made a lot of content creators yeah. like that. Money's yeah. not an issue, I can go in on this. Oh, I'm a realtor by day. And I can sell a house once a month and be all right. And I can stream fucking 80 hours yeah. a week if I wanted to, you know, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But seeing More people, power to you. Yeah, yeah exactly. but seeing people like being able to manage and, and, and do what they want to do in their time is what I respect. Yeah. That's the biggest thing exactly. where I respect. With you guys in three years have done that amount of episodes. People haven't done even streaming that many times. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Even an hour or two. So the fact that you guys have done that consistently, regardless mm-hmm. what the viewership is, what I respect. You know what yeah. I mean? Because a lot of people put in a lot of time and they're always bitching. You guys have never bitched one time about anything. Uh, no, why would we, we, why would we bitch when we accomplished our mission of hanging out? Like that was basically what, like whether people like True. it or whether people don't, that's up to them. Right. Yeah. But we got to hang out. We were shooting the shit. We well, were I had shit. a good time. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's funny because a lot of people kind of, uh, they talk to me about it when I mention it. And they go and check it out and they see the numbers. And I mean, if you really want to talk cold, hard numbers, like, of course, when you start out, you're going to get a lot more because a lot of your friends and family, they're going to check you out more and see if it's for them. And then it slowly like, like dwindles down and you find your average player, like viewer count and all that stuff. Yeah. And then you start finding out who those people are and you find more people like that. And then you start building up and you start building up and that's it. People look at it differently. People are like, oh, well, your first videos had like a, like thousands of views and now you guys are getting like a hundred. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, because we found our audience. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> and I'm not hurt by it. My, I think it's crazier that like the first episodes had what? Yeah. Right? No, it's crazy. And it's crazy to look at because we're like, we didn't like this is like our worst stuff. But yeah. at least for us, you know, because we like. It's not, it's not our worst. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad way to look at that. Right. It was our learning it, yeah, experience. Exactly. There you it go. was our learning <laughs> Don't for our trial. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how we learn. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I never lose. And, and then it's I like, always like, win. Never. Okay, Deion Sanders. <laughs> 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 I like I look like, at, you're, look like at I like me. I like that you're like wow. now I have to do a jab at right, no. look at me. Man, you can't say shit around here. <laughs> but dude, honestly, that just reminded me because yesterday I actually like I was moved yesterday because uh we had our sorry we had our uh, uh Halloween party that we usually have like yearly. Well, oh, yeah. not we, but like our group, our group, yeah. And um, she was just like a small kickback, but um, one of his coworkers was there. Um, I don't know if I can name drop them. They're just saying the coworker. Yeah. Is it Adrian? No. Oh, uh, yeah. No, we didn't name drop it. But uh, oh. he was talking to us. He was talking to me. Um, near the end of the night. Uh, because I think we went out. He, they went outside to go smoke or something. Um, but he was talking to me near the end of the night, and he's like, "Hey, man, like, honestly, it's crazy that um, 
Like, I didn't know you and anything like that, but, like, listening to you and all this shit and, like, meeting you in person, it's crazy how, like, you're, like, the same, mm-hmm. you know? And then right. we're, I was like, oh, shit. Well, yeah, man, like, I don't I don't play it up or anything. I'm genuinely, like, this weird and awkward in, in real life, you know? And, like, once I start talking, like, I have a hard time, like, finding, like, the point. You know what yeah. I mean? That's just who I am. So, so what are you it, trying to say? It's really like... good for podcast. I don't know, man. I'm letting you know. I'll let you know when I get there. But, but, yeah, but I'll but let you know. Like, yeah, but honestly, I wanted to tell you, because you said something about, like, a few months ago. And the fact that he remembered, like, a few months ago, you were talking about depression. And that really resonated with me. Like, I forgot exactly what you said, but the stuff that you said in that episode really resonated with me. And honestly, when I first started the podcast and you guys like get along so well and like you guys talk so lightly about stuff that when you got into your like me talking about my mental health issues um he was like dude that resonated with me it was crazy like i didn't know that it would get like that deep right and that kind of moved me because it's like dude like i was like opening up you know what i mean like pretty much trying to tell people like dude you're not alone you know what i mean like yeah everybody suffers through that stuff like you you don't have to suffer alone you know like if you ever need to reach out and you can't reach out to any of your friends, reach out to me. Something, yeah. you know, like somebody's always going to understand at least partly what you're going through. Right. You know, maybe if it's not everything, at least partly. Yeah. A, a lot of the time it just, and, and I'm glad you say that because I think that that's been more of a bigger topic over time. And I've learned in with musicians, with comedians, with people pursuing freelancers and shit like, you're busting your butt and you're not getting what you get out of it. And you know, you're putting yourself in like, mm-hmm. so, you're not sleeping a well, a lot yeah. of stress on yourself and things like that. And I know with a lot of, with the streamer homies, like, man, I was doing this and now I can't do this. Now I can't pay the bills and I'm stressing out and you know, just, you know, it's not good, but mm-hmm. saying and talking about it is the first step, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm glad you say that. Cause like I said, a couple of years ago, I wasn't in a good place, but me talking about it openly. And you were saying like, before we started, like, you know, I'm a trans, I'm transparent, you know, which is good. A lot of people, it can't be, but yeah. being okay and being open about talking about certain topics within reason and not getting too personal and stuff. Yeah. By you saying that I've had people come up to dude, when you were talking about this or whatever, I was like, damn, man, I felt that shit too. Yeah. And without realizing it, I was like, damn, I'm like, I'm becoming like a beacon of, of just positivity. And I'm glad yeah. that I could do that for people because mm-hmm. that was never my goal. My goal, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. transparent as fuck. When I first started streaming, I was like, this is my new career. I want to make millions of dollars. <laughs> fuck everybody else. I want to stream and make money. Yeah. But with time, I started talking yeah. to people and learning, like learning about myself yeah. and things like that. I was like, wow, without really realizing, me just being myself helped somebody. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and people yeah. that I looked up to, them being thing, themselves, yeah. helped me. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, what the That's fuck? That's the exact thing. Um, There was this one time that I got really drunk. And I don't know if it was with you or if it was just with Cindy and Jenny. Um, but I told him, like, dude, like, I don't ever want to get rich or ever get famous. Like, especially with music. Like, if I could just make music that makes somebody else feel a tenth of how music makes me feel. That's a win. I'll be, yeah, I'll be happy. And I feel like that just hit that, like, 100%. Even with podcasting, like, if I can make somebody else day a little bit better, you know, that's a win. Like, I don't care if I'm making money. I don't care if there's a million views. I don't like who gives a shit about that stuff because it's all superficial, right? Like whether or not they actually really enjoy your content or not, they're just clicking on your stuff. You never know who's behind it. You know what I mean? It could be like, Oh, I have a thousand haters and I have like 10 million views, but a thousand of them are haters. You know what I mean? Like Mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's just, it's really awesome to to be able to hear it from other people yes. and to like have something that really resonates with you right. like that. Because yeah. you, like you're generally putting your time into it, right? Mm-hmm. And then somebody can say, like, "Damn, you said that," mm-hmm. and I was like, "Holy shit, bro, mm-hmm. that was so cool." Because I work too, and I and I try to do this too, and I try yeah. to do that, and my wife was doing this and and that, and I. But hearing this guy talk about it made me like put things in perspective. Yeah, you know what I mean, and just having that kind of conversations and being uh honest you know yeah. what i mean because i'm pretty much myself like my wife gives me a hard time but i i'm pretty much myself i just amp a little bit yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. oh, you have a little to, bit. Yeah. gotta be entertaining yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so you that's what i'm saying it's like yeah, yeah it's, it's like I, this i'm jimmy dukes but my wife sees jaime yeah, yeah. she sees jaime my kids see jaime yeah. you know at work i'm jaime doing whatever i do i'm an mm-hmm. it guy all day right yeah so they see jaime when I could be myself, you know, I get the little Jimmy Dukes out, my little crazy <laughs> ass and having fun and, 
You put the people, dukes up. Yeah, so I, put the dukes up right? yeah. I put the dukes up. But within, within like, I, I don't feel like I'm not ever myself. So, yeah. like, it's easy to it's, do this. It's still you. Yeah. yeah. It's still you, first and foremost. And I think that's that's crazy, too. Like, like thinking about, like, hearing is because I don't think about, like, when we talk, like, when we talk about we're just shooting the shit. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'll drop, like, you know, like, about being tired. Or being like, oh, I you know it's been a rough week. Because like, that's, that's how we started. So, like, how was your week? How's your yeah. week? And be like, oh, it's been rough. Like, yeah. oh. But yeah, we're here. Like, we're, we're, we're through it. We're, we're living yeah. through it. Like, we're getting through it. We're here. We're having a good time. And then we talk. And we start talking, getting into it. And then I we have, I have like, the quips I come. I come with the shit that I think's funny. And I'm like, yeah. that's why at the end, I'm like, oh, hey, if it made you laugh, you know, yeah. let us know or something. And then, like, people will tell me, like, who watch it, which that trips me out from the end. <laughs> when someone's like, oh, I saw that episode, I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, we you still, watched it like we're fluently. Three, <laughs> three years, we're that was the horse one. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, which episode? Yeah, and then I think that's just like, hey, that one episode. I go, no, oh, there's like a hundred. I'm like, <laughs> give me a topic. I think I might remember. But then I'll be like, oh well, it's like they're like, well, I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing all right. Like, I'll, it'll trip yeah. me. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing all right. Like, yeah, well, but- it's because like, you know, seemed like you know something like, but you still, still out. Like, still out there. You still made like, hey, you made me laugh. I'm like, yeah, hey, go, yeah. Hey, that's all I wanted to honestly, know. Mission accomplished. Pack it up, boy. Honestly, You're good. And honestly, I really love that about our podcast is that we made that like a little thing. Uh, besides our little motto, which is you don't have to drink to chill with a pub crew, but <laughs> it helps. Um, that one we really just wanted to put because we realized that not everybody drinks. Yeah. You know, and we, we want to make sure that people understand like you don't actually. Yeah, have, you, you can be welcoming. Yeah, and, yeah you can be kind of welcoming. Yeah. And that's why, especially a lot of people that I meet, they're like, oh, well, I don't drink and I don't like hanging out with people do, that do drink because they try to force me to drink or they try to do something like that. Oh, like, oh, never force you. Exactly. They're the wrong type of people. Exactly. And, like, we just want to be like, hey, we're we're pub crew. We won't ever make you do that. If you yeah. don't want to drink, don't drink. Yeah. You know, it's probably better for you. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, but, yeah, you probably have a reason why you don't want to. I'm like, that's perfectly fine. You don't yeah. have to drink. I ain't yeah. going to force you to drink. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think it, when going back with meeting different people, yeah. you become like uh like i used to travel a lot for work as an it guy and i got to meet different people walks of life and it made me just be more appreciative but at the same time it was more being about being welcoming to somebody like i remember like i was a jock you know what i mean Mm -hmm. throughout high school and like playing competitive hockey you give yeah. guys shit like come on yeah. drink a beer pussy fucking yeah, shit yeah, like that exactly, yeah, but you yeah. know that's not good you know i have yeah. one i have one good friend since we were little you know shout out to my boy dan short he never drank never yeah. grew up with us always hung out with us on tournaments never yeah. drank and we would give him a hard time when we we're younger but yeah. i look back and i'm like why the fuck were we doing that and yeah. he was still cool with us yeah. it's not like we were like trying to make him mm-hmm. like but that's yeah. not good. You yeah. know what I mean? You should yeah. be accepting of people but, like that. And I'm glad but, that you say that. Exactly. Hey, you're like, hey, you don't have to drink, but if it helps. But if yeah. it doesn't, you're still welcome here. Yeah. Like our friend Juan. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, our friend Juan, he, uh, he, well, actually, if you want to talk about the wedding and stuff like that, um, we, we, We've talked about it. <laughs> well, when we were in Vegas and stuff like that, because yeah. he was he was in the court as well. Um, he doesn't drink. Yeah. He doesn't drink. So he was just like, he, he oh, I'll take a coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all that stuff. And, yeah, and we were in Vegas and we were doing it up, but he understood that. And, and he's like, yeah, such a fun I get time. it. Yeah. He, that's why he's like, wherever we go, he's like, I'm just there to have a good time right. with you guys. And he did. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. he had a yeah. blast wherever we went. He's like, yeah, yeah. you guys, like, it was right. a good time. Yeah, and he'd was, like, have a coffee. And there's one time where he realized, how many coffees am I at? Right. Like, you've had one for every beer we've had. And he's right. like, oh, shit. I should, prob- to- <laughs> <laughs> like, I should probably yeah. stop. We're like, yeah, that's not a good thing. I'm turned up and shit. But that's cool that you guys, and that's the thing that uh, even with my community and like when I was like gaming and I was trying to do this and then I started shifting to podcasting, but I still do the gaming thing. Yeah. I bring people in with the podcasting and then they don't like the gaming and vice versa. And then yeah, I, yeah. I got people that like both, but I'm just welcoming. If you like this, oh, cool, check it out. Yeah, yeah. If you don't like this, cool, don't do this or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But I just feel like whatever you like is cool. I don't, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's like being welcoming, being understanding is one thing that I've learned even more with time that everybody pursues everything at their own pace and in their own lane. Mm-hmm. You know, because why don't you do this? You should be doing that. You should yeah. be like, bitch. Like, like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I, I, could, I wish, I guess I could or whatever, but mm. why, why are you so worried about yeah. what the fuck I'm doing? Yeah, and um, I actually think there's, I think it stopped, like, the past year, but I feel like the first year that we were doing it, a lot of people were like, oh, you guys should do this, or you guys should follow this trend, you guys should follow this trend, and I'm like, we're not following trends, like, we're not, like, 
I forgot what to was a certain about extent, but yeah, when, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it makes sense, yeah. Like if like when Street Fighter Six came out, that's all we talked about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that makes sense, but, but that's also what we like. But yeah. like we weren't gonna like play Among Us. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like we that wasn't that. our thing. Like yeah. we were never Among Us people. Like no, no. even when it was like at its peak, we we're like, let's just. That's just we're not gonna right. do that. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Yeah. I get that. So why didn't you play that game? Or fall guys. I, I don't like, like it. Yeah. Like I don't know what to tell you. But, yeah. But, Sorry, man. I yeah. tried it. it. Scratch the itch in my brain. Yeah, you but know? that's cool. Like you said earlier, but being creative and knowing what your lane is or whatever. Like, yeah. I mean, you, I guess I could, but I don't want to. Yeah. You know what I mean, I, yeah. I know what I want to do, and I know what I don't want to do. So exactly. without without yeah. being said, man. Um, you guys, I appreciate you guys' time to coming in and you guys doing whatever, man. Like, you guys put me on having the local setup, the editing, the fucking Spotify shit that I didn't even know that was even a thing. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I, that blew my thing. mind. I was just uploading <laughs> on YouTube and not, that wasn't even my radar. You're like, oh, it's easy. They're go to Anchor and you do this. Yeah. You go, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, well, actually, well, I, mean, I was like, like it's actually not that hard. That Anchor got bought out by Spotify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now it's, yeah, it's Spotify dude, podcast, I put all yeah. my shit yeah. on, dude. I yeah. put all my shit on Spotify as a like, video. You can did. watch it or you can listen to it. I'm just like, dope. Mm-hmm. You know but what I mean? That's such a great job that they're like, oh no, we're taking this. You yeah, know what I mean? no, hell yeah, exactly. It's an easy to use platform. That's what people tell me. I'm like, is it hard? I'm like, no. No. Like you can do it. You could probably make a bigger podcast than I have. Yeah. And yeah. I tell them that, and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, dude, if you have, like, a very broad topic or a very popular topic, yeah. you can definitely make a way bigger podcast yeah. than I'm ever going to have. Yep. Yeah. And, th- and that's the thing, too, because a lot of people are like, damn, well, didn't you start before them? I'm like, dude, whatever I'm doing is different yeah. from what they're doing. Yeah, especially you know what I mean? shouldn't it's, be making that comparison. Anyway. Yeah. Like, why like, 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 I'm well, not worried about what they're doing. Good for them. I'm happy yeah. for them. Especially, like, yeah, uh, what am I supposed when, to say? Well, I wish know? it was me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, and then what? Piss and milk? I don't know, man. Right? <laughs> Does it make you feel better? I don't know what you want. This is my bucket. There's blood and sweat. Yeah. And press. There's no milk about. There's no milk or piss in my bucket. It's all blood and sweat. <laughs> milk and piss is somebody else's bucket. Right? Exactly. Like I don't care. Right? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. And that's the thing too. Like I, I respect the fact that you guys have been doing it for so long, and you guys are getting out of your comfort zone and being honest about how you guys carry yourselves. Mm-hmm. Because it, it's, I feel like having these conversations and like to be full transparent, like we mm-hmm. don't talk every day. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. we kind of keep each other, like yeah, what's yeah. going on with each other. We're, like, we're not yeah. boys or anything like that. Yeah. But having this kind of open working and friendship, you know, we're all pursuing mm-hmm. something in, in, in uh, this field in our own way. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because like, oh, I remember, I remember these fools doing all this. It's dope. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know, and that's that's how it is with a lot of people that I've seen that when they become famous or they start making a living, I'm like, oh, I've known so-and-so. Yeah, we he did this for me. I did that for him. And we started working together and then we went away and we're still good friends now. And like, it's okay yeah. to have these. Like, I, I always tell people all the time, like, uh, like these acquaintances. It's okay mm-hmm. to have acquaintances and, yeah. and be cool with people yeah. as long as it's casual. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? There's sure. like, no, there's no cloud chasing. There's no hating mm-hmm. and things like that. The fact that you guys are from El Paso doing a podcast about shit that i like i'm like i get inspired so you guys doing your thing yeah helps me do my thing yeah, so i it, appreciate you it guys, honestly man. is a mutual inspiration though like when we first met you we saw all your content and all this stuff and how like you go i was about, over there like like should i even go talk to him <laughs> like, 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 i'm gonna go talk to him especially like you mentioned your efficiency like the efficiency of what, how you do things and how you find your own rhythm and stuff like that that's when we were like oh we should probably have like like a schedule you should probably have like you know what i mean we should probably have like recording days we should probably have we started using uh like actual apps to like be I'll like this is that. what we're all doing yeah. at this day and mm-hmm. like so if anybody's busy we know when they're busy right. and all that stuff so like when we met you it was like damn like this guy's getting this shit done and he's like structured about it you know like for us it was just like oh we're doing this for yeah. fun you know it's, it's all yeah. but, but that's good too because yeah. we rub off each other yeah, on yeah. different things <laughs> and that's the thing it's always like i'm open to learning yeah. about anything i had uh, a homeboy Je- uh, joe here he's a photographer mm-hmm. we're talking about you know like i bought this nice little camera that i'm using and he's like oh the lens and then the aperture and all this and i'm like what, yeah. what? Yeah. but <laughs> just hearing him talk about it helped me understand and then i was telling him about the lighting mm-hmm. and how i record and make clips and he's like bro that's gonna be so much easy because when i get out of work i can sit there and do this yeah. and that, all it is is just spitting game to each yeah. other to try to help each other level each other up exactly. in different yeah. ways man mm-hmm. but uh i appreciate you guys coming by and bullshitting and uh 
I look forward to maybe getting on another episode with you guys or us doing something joint together somewhere together. Mm, I cool. feel like uh, we've like I think we're good enough to where we could make something work. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be forced. Like it, whenever it happens and whenever it happens, but I know that this took a oh, time to get together. But mm -hmm. I never felt like oh fuck these guys. They never yeah. answer to me or mm -hmm. like they don't want to come on. I would just kind of like you guys got shit going on and you guys have been doing your stuff and I've been doing my stuff. But the fact that you guys took the time to come over, I appreciate yeah. you guys, man. Thank you for having us, bro. We really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, looking for sure. forward to it and, you know, many more. And yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll do something. We're really looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, I know. Yeah. With, uh, with that being said, let everybody know where you guys could be at. Like uh, what, do you, what do you guys got going on? Where could they find you? You know, let us know. Like me, him, Pup Both crew, of you guys, yeah, The man. crew? You, you, can, you can start, because I got to do my whole little shit. Oh, uh, yeah, my son is uh, extensive. <laughs> um, I just play mainly uh, Destiny 2 stuff. Uh, that's my niche. <laughs> I love it or hate it. Uh, I stream on uh, Twitch, uh, Ragged Gaming. Uh, I'll send you the link. Yeah, I'll, I'll be on there in the link for sure, guys. Um, that's mainly all I really do. Right? <laughs> on the side, like, I do that or, you no know, life, married now, newly into that. That's cool, so, man. But you got the podcast going on? You got the streaming got the going podcast. on? Uh, yeah, so together, we're a uh, pub, crew. pub crew. You can find us on, mm, I want to say all, if not most, all audio of, platforms. Yeah. I think we got them on all now. Yeah. Apple Casts, you know, Spotify, for sure. Um, that's just our audio for uh, visual. We are on YouTube. Uh, pub well, actually, crew podcast. Spotify does video now, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we gotta start looking at that shit. But I, put, I know I've been uploading. Yeah, all but I, I, I cool. myself push like I. If you want to listen to audio, iTunes or Spotify. But if you want to say video, I tell people to go to YouTube. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm yeah. trying to get those YouTubers. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I get you. Yeah, no, yeah. don't just Spotify for audio. <laughs> Do YouTube for video. In the car, in the Spotify. Car, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean that's where you can check out Pub Crew. Uh, try and come out at least uh regular like a weekly with episodes. Uh, you know, life. Uh, pending which is completely mm -hmm. fine that's yeah. that's just what we do we're having a good time we do got some new stickers yeah um but what are they that three for one two, two for, for five, five. Yeah, I almost i was money. the flex i was about to say those numbers yeah. backwards and i'm like that doesn't sound right in my head <laughs> one one sticker for five dollars yeah for buy three. one for five now <laughs> link below and shit buy two for three <laughs> these savings don't make sense <laughs> Come on um, down. Yeah. yeah, you know, check us out. Give us a mm -hmm. like, give us a share. Yeah. Uh, and uh, have a yeah, brew, too. Fun. Or yeah. some coffee. We like that shit, too. Definitely yeah. have a brew with Pub Crew, which we do uh, release weekly, especially now that we're getting back into the swing of things. The, the, the wedding stuff was really big. Um, we didn't even... We talked about that way too much. Go check it out on our yeah, podcast. Yeah, like two episodes worth of like yeah. recapping uh, that whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, but besides Pub Crew, what I also do is uh, I do a little bit of rap. Um, I do a lot of music. Uh, check out Buddha Combo. That's my solo stuff. Um, I call it nerdcore, even though nerdcore rap hasn't been a thing for like 15 years. Um, but <laughs> uh, I call it nerdcore because people understand like, oh, he's nerdy and he's gonna rap. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it just makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we also, I also have my Ronin stuff that I did with uh, my homie Eli. Uh, he's a guitarist for Shadow Valley uh, and the singer. Um, so he's a big metalhead guy, but he made some new Jabba's inspired beats. He's the forefather of, of lo-fi hip hop. And he was like, hey, man, I gave this beat to like three different people and nobody says they can rap to it. Can you do something? And I'm yeah, like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. And we came out with five songs last year and um, we did our first show in May and that was super fun. We're planning on doing more shows with that. That's been really awesome. Um, we're trying to finish our second. Uh, we call them episodes like EPs. Uh, Cause they're like 23 minutes long and it's kind of like a very cinematic experience. Dope. Um, so we really do want to like do more shows, push that out a little bit more. Uh, I've just been busy. Um, and then I'm starting like a rock project. I'm learning guitar, uh, but that's not going to happen for more than a few months. Yeah, you know? But that's cool. Like that's I, I like the fact that you guys have things going on. You know, you have, you have your work, you have your work. You in, are inspired to do certain things. You do certain, but you guys get together and do this. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of people uh, can benefit in their life when they realize, like, hey, it doesn't always have to be all in on one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, if anything, I've learned as I'm older, man, fucking do whatever, do whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. As yeah. long as you're not hurting anything within reason and, and things like that, like, why not? Just try mm -hmm. shit, and if it makes sense, do it, and have fun with it because 
you know, with all the things that's, that's happened to me personally over the couple of years, man, I've appreciated and had gratitude for a lot more things with yeah. anything, man. So if any, any time I go in on something and I have fun, because I'm one of those people, like, I go in on something, I go in on something. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah. cool that, you know, that I can have the ability to have the health and do shit and people do enjoy mm-hmm. these conversations, you know what I mean? And yeah. I hope that you guys go check them out and, you know, for all, I know I have a lot of beerhead friends and, like, uh, they talk about comics and gaming and shit like that. I might not go heavy in on it and might not know history, but for you guys to sit there and talk about certain games and certain reasons like that, I think you guys would enjoy that. Mm-hmm. I like them. They might not be your cup of tea, but, but I always tell people, don't, you don't have to follow them, but at least check them out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Please. Just one gold coin. <laughs> yeah, but thank you so much for having us. Yeah, man. man. I really appreciate it. Man, I appreciate it. It honestly man. did take a little bit longer than we wanted it to no, but as well. But, but that's the thing. That's how it, life works, right? But that's the yeah. thing, too. It just, like, it, it, it made sense and it worked out and great. Because mm-hmm. I didn't want to do it virtually. Because I just got this set up not yeah, too yeah. long ago. So it's not like, well, wow, these guys are blowing me off and kind of thing, mm-hmm. man. So it just it makes sense what it makes sense. And I appreciate yeah, yeah. you guys, man. Thank you guys oh, so much for coming man. through, awesome, man. man. Y'all make sure to go Thank check you, out brother. Hub Crew, episode number 42, man. We're aiming to have 50 by the end of the year. That's just a personal goal of mine. We're having all different types of topics, guys. Just know that uh, I do enjoy doing this. And it might not be your type of topic and things like that. But you guys just checking out and just... You know, giving me your constructive criticism and mm-hmm. feedback is I I can uh, genuinely guarantee it, man. Yeah. With that being self, myself, uh, Jimmy Dukes Gaming, my boy Vic. Vic. What did I call you the, the other day? <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, Jesse. I don't Jesse. know why, dude. I even said that. I even told Adrian. I was like, Jesse. He's like, you mean Ryan? I was like, bro. I don't know why I even fucking so said where that. the hell are you getting right, dude, I'm an I, I'm an asshole. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'll be honest, at least I was like, I know who he is. I just got the wrong name. I'm actually, terrible. Like, Jesse actually kind of fits. No, don't thing. even. <laughs> Not even. Well, be sure to check out Pub Crew with Vic and Jesse. <laughs> AKA Ryan. <laughs> Until next time, peace out, guys. Y'all take care. <laughs>